May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be with you, dear friends. Now, almost 20 years serving God in different parts of the world. Whenever I meet people or whenever people meet me, the first thing they will say, please pray for us, we have a lot of problems. We have a lot of problems. So then I began to analyze why people say that I have problem, I have problem, and what is the problem? And doing a research on it, I came to a conclusion, there is no lots of problems. There is no countless problems. There is no endless problem. There is no so many problems. There is only little problems. And we will find out what are the real problems. And we will find out how Jesus saves us from that problems. The first thing we will meditate from the word of God itself. You know in the Old Testament, there is a great prophet, you know that Job. And when everybody says about suffering, they immediately go to Job. Look at the Job suffering and how God blessed. So we have to look at Job and find out how many problems were there for Job. The book of Job chapter 5 verses 19 we read like this. He will deliver you from six troubles and seven no evil will shall touch you. So here the Job says that God will deliver you from six troubles. The seventh one will not touch you. So when I read that, I started thinking, why do Job say there is only six problems? And I deeply started meditating and pondering over the word of God. And I came to know that basic virus or basic problems are only six on earth, no seventh one. So when you say that you have so many problems, you are saying lie. Basically, we have only six. You know why? God created this universe within six days. And the seventh day, there was no creation, resting day. So the problems are this creation and that should be only six days. That's why when I wrote my book, the third book, I wrote six day retreat reflection. Why? Because there is only six problems. And all other problems will be one among the six. You cannot find out seventh one. And you, can, you may find out and I will explain later, but that will not touch you. So the problems which touches you will be only six. So this holy week we are going to meditate all these six problems and we are going to find out the remedy for that problems. So let me count the problem number one which you and I face. The first problem. We have problem in our society where we live. For example, in your business some people are jealous of you and creating trouble for you. In your classroom, some of your friends are jealous of you and they are creating trouble for you. In your prayer group, some are unhappy with you. Or in, in the society where you live, in the flat where you live, one neighbor is unhappy with you. Or a security man, or a policeman, or a politician. Someone is unhappy with you and they are torturing you. They may be backbiting about you. They are trying to spoil your name. Uh, and they are trying to send you out from the company and they are trying to block the marriage wedding of your son or daughter they are trying to block your property sale everywhere they are troubling to attack you and to suppress you I think 99% of the earth 99% of the human being on earth suffer the same you may be saying that nobody is against you but you may be the one who is troubling someone else Either someone else will trouble you or you will trouble someone else. Since we are human beings, we have this problem. So this is our first problem. We are suffering in our society. We call it social problem. And you know my brothers and sisters, if you need deliverance from that problem, if you need redemption from that problem, look at the cross. You know what? Who crucified Jesus? Society. And which people? The high class. So Jesus experienced social problem more than you and more than me. So the only person who can understand your social problem. If somebody is hurting you, only he can understand. Because from the time of his birth till his last breath on the cross, there was enemies for him. From his own friend circle, they even call him your man. 
and maximum social sufferings he experienced so he is the one who can understand so let us meditate and pray to get the deliverance from the cross how cross will help us to accept all our enemies as our own brothers and sisters and I will teach you how we can do that usually what happens when somebody hurts you you have a feeling that person is not worthy of my forgiveness and you don't forgive you say that he is not worthy for my mercy he is not or she is not worthy for my forgiveness so I will not forgive actually when you have some enemy and somebody is attacking you they will be living very happily but you are spoiling your life the unforgiveness is a poison unforgiveness is clearly a poison I will tell you one example of mine uh, one day I went to Kutikanam it is a beautiful hill station in Kerala one of my wife's relative took me there and I never knew about leech I have never seen leech in my life you know what was there was a leech it, it gets a smell of human blood it's a long thing it's short when people walk it stands like this with the head and tuck, jump on the leg and put a spray there and when the leech bites you won't get pain because it already sprays a medicine there and after biting the leech drinks the blood drinking 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 finally when it becomes so big like balloon the leech will fall down but the blood will be keep on flowing from there and when the blood flows from there and comes down somewhere where you get the sensation then only you will understand the blood is falling the same way when somebody is attacking you if you concentrate on that person and if you keep that person in your heart with your anger and revenge you are accepting a leech on your heart when you unforgive someone that person is a leech will hold on your heart and will drink your joy your peace your happiness and you think that oh they are not worthy they are not they are not worthy to forgive and you know i will not i will teach them one lesson but you are spoiling your life your happiness is lost your time is lost your joy is lost and my brothers you imagine that i am so angry to you now i cannot come and kill you so instead of killing you what i will do i keep your form in my mind so i know you i, I know you so whenever i am walking i grind you like okay i will kill you i will grind you i will smash you i will chuck me out of actually i am grinding who you are in abu dhabi now and i am in kerala or you are in dubai and i am in kerala but when I have the anger to you, when I am grinding, actually I am grinding myself. So remember that if you know that somebody is hurting you and if you are keeping their name in your mind and if you are keeping their form in your mind, definitely you are grinding yourself. In another word, you are drinking poison. So this London season, especially this Holy Week, you have to find out where is the leech in your heart. Please pluck that leech, throw it out. Don't grind anyone. That is the first remedy, first solution to solve all your problem and to be peaceful on earth. May Almighty God bless you. Peace be with you.